What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Another day, another player pack review. We're back with Mataus, Beckenbauer and Romanegi. I don't have any of the three of these so I am going to spin two while we're doing this video and then we're going to get into the review uh, before we do that obviously and uh, focus on the three boys. We are going to go over to eFootballDB as well uh, just to give a look at what these guys would train up as and how I would train them. So they are repeated players. Obviously they are different versions with the big time and stuff. They've got more levels to go to get up to the level that they need to get to. Um, but three absolute monsters man. If you can get them, if you are a newcomer to the game, these will make a big difference to you. But to be honest with you, you don't need good players to get results in eFootball, man. You do not need to buy players. I keep saying it. You do not need to buy the players if you know how to train them right and you want to put a bit of grind in. If you do have a lot of time on your hands, you can grind players really easily, train them up exactly how they fit into your squad. And um, yeah, we've a lot of tips on the channel for that. But otherwise, let me know what you guys think it is and we're going to get into it right now. Here we go. We're going to start with Beckenbauer, I think, actually. He's probably the, the one that I would like to get most. Uh, Matthaus is probably my main man, but Beckenbauer is, is definitely there as well. Um, you have with all these players, as usual, you have the unwavering form. You've got excellent defensive awareness here. Look at his defensive awareness, man, straight off the rip for just literally his base card. And he's still got 20 levels to go. And he's also, what am I doing? He's also got, I'm after going out. He's also got low pass and loft to pass. Excellent stats there. Heading 80, jumping 81. Really, really good stats across the board. But yeah, the one thing that lets him down is his aggression. That's probably the thing that lets him down. And obviously his speed and acceleration. But we can, we can tweak that uh, in a second when we are going to be training him up. He doesn't have blocker either. So he's not... I think Beckenbauer is more, obviously because he's a build-up playing style, um, as you see there, he is more of a player that's going to be taking the ball out from the back, and with the way the game plays at the moment, I think that if you had him with like an absolute destroyer at the back, I think Beckenbauer would be a big improvement on Van Dijk, but then some people really do like Van Dijk as well. So if I was going to be training him up, I would really be just focusing on Beckenbauer in that position if you wanted to play him there as a DMF. That's kind of where I would play him. If you don't have um, good options at DMF, he definitely be, would be worth putting there and that he could just automatically be very defensive because his offensive awareness is so low. You could just leave that and just have him as kind of like marauding in the middle of the pitch somewhere. But you could play him as a centre back as well, but you just have to be a possession-based player in my opinion. He's not going to be like, you know, bursting through lads to win you balls and stuff. So over on eFootball DB, we do have him here. 20 levels to go, 38 progression points. We're just going to boost up his speed to 75. For now, we're going to do this to 75 as well. That'll be his dexterity, his lower body strength, six and five into that, and plus five and six onto his speed and acceleration. And then the rest, we're just going to focus on getting that defensive awareness up to eight. We don't need to go any higher than eight there. I mean, you could max it out. Yeah, you can get 99 defensive awareness with him quite easily, but I think that's probably overkill, man. I think 95 there is enough to get his aggression up, get his tackling up, depending on how you want to play him. Now, if you are going to be playing him as a... DMF or you're going to be playing him as more of kind of like a just kind of a stopper then I would probably boost up this a little bit maybe to four and then I would probably boost up those defensive stats just that one more uh, if you wanted to you could even take down that aerial strength one and boost up his defense to get his a his defensive wares at 98 so that's if you want to kind of replicate the Van Dyke build of him if you want to have him like as the same Van Dyke kind of archetype uh, where you're not going to have um you're not going to have like, you're not going to be dominating physically, but it's more about kind of like picking your positions. Obviously, the big difference between him and Van Dijk is their ability in the air because, you know, Beckenbauer is is very, you know, he's not as tall as uh, as Van Dijk. But that's if you want a pure center back that's going to win you the ball and be very, very defensively solid, kind of like Maldini. But I would probably play him in a different position, lads, genuinely. I would probably have this at 95 to keep that up high, right? I would probably leave that at four. I would leave that where it is with the dexterity. And then I would probably put up his dribbling maybe two just to get that up to 78 and then the passing, that's where I would probably focus on the passing, so that you can still have a really good player there, but you've got 89 low pass, you've got lofted pass there as well, in fact, I would probably take away one of here, that, that would be fine, and I would probably, um, I would probably put it into dexterity, just to get the acceleration up, or sorry, not dexterity, the uh, stamina up, 
I would leave that the way it is. That's two options for him if you wanted to have him there. Uh, obviously, you know, it depends on how you want to train him up yourself, but that is two options that you could have. And it just shows that you don't need to have him maxed out at the, you know, maximum overall level. Next up, we've got Mataus. Mateus Mataus. Um, this guy is probably one of my... Is he, like I think he's probably the only guy that could probably surpass Goretzka in my squad to take Goretzka out of the squad as my main starting 11 guy um he's absolutely incredible uh he doesn't have blocker that's the only player skill that he doesn't have that I wish he had but he is more of a box-to-box -box, uh like Goretzka so you don't need him to be super 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 defensive even though he has got excellent defensive stats right so unwavering form true passing way to pass man marking interception fighting spirit and long ranger and long ball expert his play style will fit in any of the legend players will fit in with any squad he's actually got a lot of levels to go so he's got 42 levels to go which brings him up to one of the like top 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 meta center midfielders now there's two ways to train this guy as well there's been a lot of different versions of him but i would definitely train him differently uh, based on your play style so obviously if you look at his big time here or his epic here compared to the big time the epic is better defensively aggressive aggressive uh aggression is way better defensive engagement is better his base cards at level one but he only has 33 levels to go this guy's got 42 levels to go but he is down a good bit like with um with different stats right so we're going to need to rectify that straight away um and bring him up on par with you know however we want to have him so i would definitely bring up his passing a little bit you still need your you know look you you only need two training points per slot after eight progression points it takes three off you so go, try go to eight on most of these that you need or else four because it only takes one i would probably go eight and eight on there depends on how you want to train him up man depends on how you tra want to train him up but i would always have my uh center midfielder as a very good ball winner that would be how i do it and have a very good engine on him so you don't need to train this guy up massively 10 points each maybe 12 points each into that to get the stamina up as far as you can get it without you know absolutely blowing the bank and then it depends on what you want to do right his acceleration is actually quite decent at that you don't want to bring up his offensive awareness massively it's the same issue that Goretzka had you have to be really balanced with it because otherwise you will have him like bombarding forward unless you you know make him stay at the back but I definitely would use that um that was how I would probably train him up and then you could either put four into that just to bring up his jump a little bit even though you don't really be jumping with him um but bring up his physical contact a slight bit or else you can bring up his dexterity just a couple of more if you wanted to do that to have him kind of like the energetic guy that he is just busting along just to kind of to get around the pitch or else you could just pump it on into his passing and then have one for aerial strength or one into shooting or else one into his play style depending on where you want to do it to bring it to 99 right so there is a different way to train him as well if you wanted to have him more uh, as a passer you could just reduce that maybe to about maybe nine you could reduce that one and then you could put the rest into the passing there. So you bring up his passing to maybe 90 and 90, 90, 91. And then the dribbling, you could bring that up as well if you wanted to. And I think that you've got a slightly better player there if you're more possession based and you're not worried about winning the ball and stuff. And then last but not least, we have got Romy, who is probably one of the best center halves or the best center forwards ever in the Pez games, like Pez 2020, Pez 2021. He's got everything that you could possibly want for a striker, unwavering form. I don't see as many people with him this year. Uh, it seems to be more Mbappe and Romario that are kind of the main guys, but double touch, long range curler and shooter, uh, rising shot, acrobatic finishing, first time shot, true pass, and he can bring others into play. He doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a pity, but he does have unwavering form. And this is how we I would train him up, right? So you do need to get up his shooting to about an 86. You should be able to score a lot of chances there with him. His passing, you don't need to focus too much on that. But you could bring it up to 75 because he doesn't have one touch pass. If you play a lot of spin kind of football, as in you pass the ball to your center forward and you either spin your defender or else you spin off your defender's shoulder with a touch and go right if you want that if you play like that grand if you don't you don't need to waste the points there but i would play like that so i want that up to about that because he doesn't have one touch pass dribbling is fine you can just pump a few into that 
his speed you don't need to pump too much into his actual speed it's more his acceleration that's where i would focus get that up to 90 get his affair, uh, awareness up to 90 and get his balance up as high as you can possibly get it so that's how i would train him 94 awareness 93 speed or acceleration and 79 balance it would be nice to get up to 80 balance so as i said if you don't need that passing stat you could just pump that back down there and then obviously pump the lower body strength down and then maybe pump one more down in the lower body to get that up you'll still get a 96 overall ss there um but it just depends how you want to train him you know you don't really need the lofted pass or low pass is, is fairly okay his defensive awareness goes up his acceleration goes up his speed at 88 is perfect stamina and balance are two of the things that let this card down from being upper upper tier um but yeah let me know what you guys think because obviously on this one this card here the original cards they had better um they had better stamina and better balance so yeah let me know what you guys think let me know if you're going to spin or skip i am going to open one here now in a second where am i um oh yeah sorry i never showed you this one lads i never showed you that so that's how i was doing it there i didn't have the screen fixed sorry um but yeah he's a gold poacher as well so that's going to be interesting so we are going to spin i'm going to spin three i'm going to give it spin three because i've seen people get him in three and hopefully we get one of them i mean if we get mataus man it would be huge um he's probably one of my favorite players in in pez 2020 i think it was he was an absolute machine in co-op he just literally would score from anywhere four star of course it's a great start as usual for me who do i get a free agent ginter uh he's probably better than beckenbauer to be honest i'm happy enough with that but yeah i won't get anyone man my my look since i'd say the last I say since I got Maldini, obviously I know I got a couple of them. I got like Gapco and I got a couple of. Hold on, this could be different. Nah, it's three star. Three star goalkeeper, just what I needed. Oh, just what I needed for my squad. Beautiful. He's going straight in. All right, last one, Les. I'm not even going to waste the coins because I know I'm not going to get anybody. I know I'm not going to get anybody because my luck is absolutely disaster. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No. No, 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 no. Don't do it to me. No, 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 no. All right, lads, that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm out, I'm out. So that, so what? But anyway, that's it for me, lads. That's my review of the German beasts, the German grey captains, and uh, I will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed the episode of my player review. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.